Not so long ago, many of us worried about work-life balance. At its simplest, it meant making sure you divided your time sensibly between hours of work and hours of, well, everything else. Today, we worry more about finding a balance between the time we spend online and everything else. And one of the most important parts of that everything else is the time we spend in nature. Today we don't worry so much about work-life balance, but we do worry about tech-nature balance. Let's face it, many of us are connected to the internet pretty much all the time. It's where we work, where we play, where we meet up with people and stay in touch with distant friends and family. And all of that's fine, but there's something else we could be connecting to that has rather fallen by the wayside. Planet Earth, the soil beneath our feet, the air we breathe, the forests, beaches, fields, mountains, lakes and gardens of the natural world. Today most of us live in cities. Beyond the occasional urban park, they're not exactly rich in greenery. And long before the smartphone arrived, people who live in cities were already pretty accustomed to living life without nature. But now it's fashionable to blame technology for that separation. That's incorrect. It's we who are responsible. We thought we could concrete over the fields and design a better life for ourselves, free of nature's wildness and uncertainties. But it's very obvious now that this was the wrong way to go. What we must do is develop a new kind of balance, a tech-nature balance, one which helps us live more healthily in cities and more naturally with our technology. A tech-nature balance means being mindful of what you connect to. You know when you've achieved it because you feel just as in touch with the natural world as you do with the people in your smartphone. Your senses are heightened. You experience the weather on your skin. You feel leaves and flowers and grass beneath your fingers. You notice every muddy puddle, every patch of weeds, every trill of bird song. Finding your tech nature balance doesn't mean turning off your phone or leaving it at home because after all, being online is part of daily life now. But it does mean paying attention to your connection to nature and making sure you interact with the natural world in some way every day. It's not difficult. Even the simplest activities can reduce stress and make you feel better. And they're easy to do. So ask yourself, when did you last pay attention to the sky? Take care of your plants. Stop by a tree to gaze up into its leaves, touch its bark, breathe its aromatics. When did you last stroll through a park, paddle along the seashore, or walk out in the wild? You can do all these things with your phone in your pocket. You don't have to disconnect from the digital to stay connected to the world around you. And even when you're stuck at your desk, you can always turn to virtual nature. Millions already do. They gaze at photos of sunsets in Facebook, play Farmville during the lunch break, enjoy holiday snaps of wild places on their screensavers. There's evidence that virtual nature can be calming and restorative too. Pictures, videos, even virtual reality worlds featuring nature scenes have been found to lower blood pressure and reduce heart rate and contact with animals, also part of nature of course, can be very good for you. Real stroking and playing with them must be best, there's no doubt, but the popularity of kittens and puppies on the internet surely contributes to the daily tech nature balance of many of us. So why not audit your own tech nature balance? Are you connected to nature? Keep note of how many natural materials you physically touch every day. Real wood, soil, leaves, flowers and vegetables. And when you need to rest your eyes, where do you look? At clouds, at trees, at gardens? Did you tend a plant, stroke an animal, seek out a ray of sunlight and raise your face to its warmth? It all helps to build a healthful and connected life. There are lots of ways to find your tech nature balance. Find out more at technobiophilia.com.